Okay. Hi, I'm Tina, and we are doing the workbook lesson, and we are at lesson two, oh, 258. Oh, and this is sort of what I was just saying, too, um, what I've been feeling lately about the consistency of God. Perfect. Good. <laughs> I um, like the way you're smiling and rubbing your chest like that it, warmth. Yeah, I mean, that's how I've been feeling when I really... Yeah, it feels warm yeah. inside. <laughs> warm fuzzies. All right, cool. All right, lesson 258. Hmm. Let me remember that my goal is God. All that is needful is to train our minds to overlook all little senseless aims and to remember that our goal is God. His memory is hidden in our minds, obscured, but by our pointless little aims, which offer nothing and do not exist. Shall we continue to allow God's grace to shine in unawareness while the toys and trinkets of the world are sought instead? God is our only goal, our only love. We have no aim but to remember him. Here's the prayer. Our goal is but to follow in the way that leads to you. We have no goal but this. What could we want but to remember you? What could we seek but our identity? <laughs> there is nothing else. The toys and trinkets of the world. <laughs> All right, good. Self explanatory. <laughs> <laughs> it says even in the first line all that is needful is to train our minds to overlook all, all little, little things what else do you want to say that's all that is needful mind training is your greatest need mm -hmm. mind training mind training mind training so you I know what oh sorry sorry I, I, didn't I didn't interrupt you My Irish friend would say, uh, I'm sorry if the beginning of my sentence interfered with the ending of your. Uh... <laughs> That's all good. All right, cut. I want to say something, though. It's like um, oh, on, this whole this whole thing That's of yin and yang. You know what I mean? Like, it's sort of like that's kind of what we accept. Like, the life is good and it's bad. It's up and it's down. The whole yin and yang. And we kind of take on that mindset, like an acceptance that there is something, you know, the little trinkets are okay or the little aims and all that stuff is okay because that's the way life is. Anyway, all right, I'll stop. <laughs> Ready? Do this. I, yeah, exactly. I do. I, I do. I accept it. the yin and yang. And that's what I've really been coming to this last week, I suppose. Like, why am I accepting that there's, the, yeah, that there's, Good and bad. Duality, every, everything in this world has an opposite, you know, but I don't want what it is and I don't want its opposite. I'm not interested in any of it. Let me be in the world, but not of it. God is consistent. Let that be my, let that be my state of mind, you know? Yeah. yeah. I put I don't no want other gods before the bad. him. Yeah. Right, exactly. Put no gods before him. God but it's. It's what you don't know that you don't know that fucks you up. You know, there's no clue. There's no clue in the worldly learning that what you're learning is pointless. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's not pointless given 
that uh, you know the ego speaks first, and it has its own purpose as well. It serves the ego's purpose perfectly, but pointless as far as uh, if you want peace of mind. There's nothing that's going to tell you that it's pointless, other than the scripts and scriptures and teachings of you know those who've gone before, and this course and everything that we're doing. And you know, it's like I love the idea that in a thousand years or ten thousand years from now, there'll be guys just logging on in the morning for their daily lesson and it'll be directly beamed into their consciousness somehow. They won't even have to read the book. It'll just be there. You know, there'll be some kind of implant or sim or something and it'll be like, bloop, like that. You know, in the Matrix, they have the red pill or the blue pill and the, it, the pill actually interrupts the carrier signal of your brain so that just for a second, they can get a lock. They can find you in, in the grid, in the matrix. It's exactly the same thing. The holy instant in the course, it's like when you make a decision, like we were talking about whenever it was in the past, some idea of the past, uh, when you make a decision um, not to adjust to that uh, social anxiety, let's say in that pregnant pause moment, and, and that, that pans out across everything, right? like when you catch yourself telling a story or whatever and you make a decision, no, I'm not going to do that. And where it is that in the script you would have told the story, you're choosing to leave it blank. Right? That leaving the space blank is where they find you. Right? You can't find God. You can't find love because you're the one that's lost your way. You're the one that's whatever. But as soon as you be still, love will find you. You'll be swept feet and like what but it's like training the mind to be still it takes everything you got it's no half measure you know let me be still and know that i am god how's that i don't know but when i be still you know what i'm saying i do <laughs> i don't know how it's going to happen it's going to have to be a miracle Right? For me to remember God, for me to have an experience of being outside of this world, out of my body, the whole thing, it's going to have to be a miracle. If I don't learn to become miracle-minded, how am I going to be, you know, able to recognize it when it's happening? How am I going to be able to collaborate with it and work with it, which is the universal programming in place now that is doing nothing more than attempting me, attempting to get my attention. It's going, hey, God's calling me all the time. Hey, over here. Hey, <laughs> just be still for a second. We see you. We know you're there. It's like, you know, when a little kid falls down a mine shaft, have you seen those news things? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and the kid's trying to get out, trying to get out, and they're yelling down, just be still. Don't move. Just stay still. We'll get you. Right? The final step's taken by God. You just got to be still. It's not difficult, but the whole mind, you've got, you've got hundreds of thousands or millions of years of training not to be still, of frantic. You know, when you put a, a rat in a box or a whatever, an animal in a box or something, it's frantic to get out. I have this big blue tongue lizard. It's like this big. And I have a bin outside the front of my house. I have this bar and entertaining sort of area where people just sit and talk shit generally. But I have a big garbage bin there with no lid. And I've got a blue tongue lizard, which is this black and gray colored lizard about this long. And it's worked out that if it can climb up between the bricks of the house and the refrigerator, which is outside, and its back is against the refrigerator and it climbs up against the wall and the fridge like this and then does this kind of flip off to the side and lands in the bin. And it's worked out that in the bin is food scraps and chips and things you know, <laughs> from off the table. And when I go to work in the morning, I have to, this is how cunning everything is. Like everything's just this perfect sort of thing if you just let it happen. When I go to work in the morning, the blue tongue lizard sits in the bin all night. It can't get out, right? It's fallen in there. 
when I go to work in the morning, it hears me undoing the door, like opening the latch and opening the thing. And it goes, the door's got a squeaky thing. And he's in the bin and he starts thrashing around. <laughs> right? He starts thrashing around because he can hear something. He can hear me there. And he knows that I'm going to tip the bin gently over and he can crawl out and go back into the garden. It just happens again and again and again. It's like, and we think animals, you know, like everything's everything's like switched on and smart. It's only human beings that really just make a big fucking pickle out of everything, you know? It's like, I'll just be still. I'll just be still here and wait in the bin and someone will get me out, right? It's like, yeah, yeah. It's in everything. You see it in everything. Just be still and I'll be rescued. But training the mind to be still is, um, you know, so hmm. meditation, prayer, mind training. You got to practice it. You got to put it into practice. Hmm. Hmm. Your opportunity, your opportunity to practice honor is uh, like it's right there. You know, don't waste your pain, sickness, pain, suffering, and death. It's all the same thing. Don't waste it. Use it to train your mind. You're not going to be more honest about it than in the moment where you're really going through the shit, mm -hmm. literally. Mm -hmm. right? Trying to do it in retrospect, it's sort of like, yeah, you know, the, the urgency is off. But when you're in the middle of like the idea of sickness or the idea of whatever, what better time to be honest about how that makes you feel in relationship to your new chosen purpose to be representing god's love or to be living in the abidance of god's love you know than being right there johnny on the spot <laughs> you can't you can't kid yourself you can't lie to yourself about it no i feel like shit i feel terrible my head's all bunged up whatever you got going on right? and look at those ideas given to the holy spirit to be reinterpreted so that you can actually begin to make some use out of it rather than to sit there in the lament of uh where it was, your health is gone. Get it. And then the next time that comes around for you, everything's in a cycle. The next <coughs> time, uh, you'll probably just get a little sneeze, but you, and that will be what it is you're going through now. You know, there'll be something, there'll be a thing. I don't think I had COVID, but there was there was one day there where I coughed for about 15 minutes nonstop. I had this nagging cough. I couldn't stop coughing for about 15 minutes, maybe even half an hour. It's like ah, 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 this hacking cough. And I was tempted to buy into it thinking, uh-oh, because everywhere you turn, everybody's talking about COVID and you get a cough and you get a this and the other. And I was tempted to buy into it. And I'm, I made a decision not to. And I'm like, cool, I've got a cough. You know, like I embraced it, I accepted it, I included it in. And that's all it came to. That was it. And then it stopped. Business as usual. It wasn't the idea. I didn't perpetuate the idea. I didn't allow it anywhere to go. And I didn't, I didn't open a door to the greater possibility of what that cough might mean. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it meant. It's just an experience I'm having. It's like, cool, I'm experiencing coughing. That's cool. I'll just accept it. I don't need to turn it into some sort of drama and go and look on Google. How come I'm coughing or ring the doctor? Why am I? <laughs> you know, because as soon as you make, as soon as you do that, you build a whole nother world of potential and that potential has to be used up somewhere. Where's it going to be used up in my own experience? Because the whole thing's only going on in my own mind. Give it to the Holy Spirit. Give it to God. So here, take this. I don't. I don't know what this is. I call it a cough. I don't even know if that's what it's called. Made it up. <laughs> How much? I just call it a cough for you know, shits and giggles. Yeah. I could call it a schnoodle. You know, like what would that be? It's like, oh, I'm schnoodling. <laughs> <laughs> and it could be a good thing. Having a fit of schnoodles. <laughs> Yeah, I get the schnoodle. Yeah. Right. People will be like, what the fuck is a schnoodle? And be like, I don't know. I don't know what anything is. But it's totally fun. Like my belly kind of hurts a little bit and I get to do like this. Right. 
I've got a grudel in my schnoodle and my. <laughs> Then there's this judgment, like, ah, it's not a good thing. What are you going to do with that? It's like, it doesn't <laughs> going to kill me. It may, it may as well be the most ridiculous nothing kind of thing you can make out of it. Still nothing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. All right. Are All we right. recording? Yep. Lesson 258. That's it. <laughs>